Hello, everybody. I'm your host, Kushan, and welcome to Command Modern Air Naval Operations Shifting Sands. Um, before I get too far into here, I just wanted to point out that this is a beta build. Um, so there will probably, in fact, I know there are a couple things that were fixed in the release that went live today on the public line that are not going to be in this build, um, just because this is a little bit far behind. So with that, let's go ahead and just jump right on in. So go ahead, and I think I've decided I'm going to play Downtown Damascus for today's stream. So Syrian Frog 7 missiles struck the Israeli air base at Ramat David. Additional missiles struck civilian settlements nearby, causing light physical damage but plummeting the already fragile morale. In retaliation, the IAF was tasked to destroy the leadership and infrastructure on which Syria's war-making capacity depended, targeting the strategic assets in Syria, such as its oil industry and electronic electricity generating system. The first target was the Syrian General Staff HQ in the prosperous Abu Ramanin district of heavily protected Damascus. The raid was intended to disrupt the Syrian command and control capability for operations against Israel. The raid was launched on October 9th, 1973, the fourth day of the Yom Kippur War. An F-4E Phantom 2s from the 119 Squadron screamed into the hornet's nest of downtown Damascus. So, obviously, this takes place October 9, 1973. It's a four-hour duration, and the only playable side is Israel. So we're going to go ahead and just jump right on in here. After the first frogs... Frog strikes on Ramat David and nearby settlements. The IAF headquarters has ordered retaliatory strikes on key installations in downtown Damascus. Numerous squadrons have been assigned to the strikes. This will be a daylight raid, so expect the losses. The Syrian IA IADS is robust and effective, especially with the new mobile SA-6 SAM systems. So we know there's going to be AAA and SA SAM systems that remain unlocated. CN Air Force has been augmented by Soviet advisors, which basically means we are going to be facing Soviet pilots, which in the game context, I'm going to assume means um, units that have a higher um, skill rating. Orders in conduct of operations, conduct the diversion strike through the Golan Heights, Heights and strike the SAM and radar sites, strike elements to destroy Baroque radar site in Lebanon, Main strike force to interdict through Lebanon corridor to strike primary targets. After primary targets are destroyed, conduct further strikes on Presidential Palace. So our primary targets are the Military Intelligence Directorate and the General Staff Headquarters. The secondary target is the Presidential Palace. Our order of battle is 69 Squadron with F4E Phantom Twos, 110 Squadron with Phantor IINs, not sure what those are. 117 Squadron with Nesher S's, Tel Nof Air Base, 119 Squadron, more Phantom 2's, Hazram Air Base, more Phantom 2's. So we're going to have a lot, quite a bit of Phantom 2's under our control. And we'll be facing MiG 21's, SA 2's, SA 3's, SA 6's, and AAA systems. Should be noted that since this is a 1973 scenario, that obviously the SA-2, SA-6s are going to be a lot more effective, probably, than they are if you were, say, to play a 2013 scenario. Or a modern scenario, not 2013, not sure where that came from. All right, so let's look at our targets. So, sand batteries... More SAM batteries. These are just the located ones, so obviously there are probably more out here. Presidential Palace. So there's the General Staff HQ, as well as the Military Intelligence Building. And then there's just the Damascus City Marker. Now one thing I do want to do here, let's go ahead and hit start just for a second. Let everything else pop in. So we've got an air base right there, air base there, and air base there. Okay. So let's look at our order of battle. So F4Es, mainly armed in the strike role. 
M117, 750 pound general purpose bombs. Strategic Damascus Strike. Oh, okay. Um, we got ASM AGM 65 Mavericks. So, what is the Vantor? It's a fixed wing fighter. Hmm. I don't think I've ever. S Actually, gonna look this up real quick. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Vantor IIN. All right. It's a weird looking plane. Um, and then we've got the Nesher S. I don't think I've ever seen it. Oh. Kind of looks like a Mirage. In fact, that looks a lot like a Mirage. Um, so we've got some... Oops. So we've got some Nesher S's. Looks like they are armed in the, looks like air-to-air -air roll, anti-air range 2.2 .2 to 3 nautical miles. Ugh. Keep forgetting this is uh, not modern, don't have modern uh, AMRAMs. Um, so more Phantoms armed with uh, general purpose bombs and Mavericks. And a third squadron armed with Sparrow 3s with a range of 24 nautical miles, not too bad. And Sidewinders with ranges of 10 nautical miles, so not too bad. And I think that is it. So we only have 100 active units, 190 active units. So it was part of the reason I chose this scenario was that was kind of on the smaller side and did fit into the uh, time scale for tonight. All right, so first things first, we're just going to go in and launch everything um, and send everything kind of in. Uh, better have everything up in one kind of strike. We do have. Okay, so I've missed this. The Vators are actually armed in the offensive ECM role. Hi, Michael. Welcome to the stream. So I'm going to go and launch my three ECM aircraft all individually. And then I'm going to launch the rest of these just kind of in groups of four. So we'll get everybody up. Launches groups. So we'll use our um, phantoms with the sparrows and sidewinders, kind of to uh, as kind of our base group with our other uh, amrammed arm or not amrammed um, with our other um, fighters to kind of back them up. Um, so what I think I want. While aircraft are kind of launching here, I'm going to set up a kind of a jammer path there. So add new mission. Let's call this uh, OECM South. It's going to be a support mission. Doesn't have one third rule active. Move that. Perfect. And then what I want is another one. Right there. Call this West. Make sure that's on a support mission. Oh, other thing I forgot to do to go into Mission Doctrine, MCON settings, OECM is... Make 
make sure that this is now active there. Both of my definitely want OC my offensive. All right, so that is the first group of phantoms coming up right there. Our southern group of phantoms are coming up. So I think I can deselect those. So you are going to get assigned. All right, so we're already picking up some in fact, I actually want to pull this jammer back to be within my borders. And go like that. Assign to mission. Huh. Why aren't you... Okay. What are you going all the way down there for? Where do you think you're going? <laughs> okay, um, unassigned. And just go manually patrol right there. <laughs> that was weird. Um, I can drive. Unfortunately, my mic is just really low. Um, that is about as loud as I can get it up. Oh, I know what's going on there. I think I've got my... That shouldn't be doing that. I wonder... We're going to go ahead and just set this path manually. For whatever reason, I think Autopath is finding that's... Too close to that no-fly zone. So, let's go ahead and get the Southern Strike aircraft moving north. Okay, anything else there still taking off? Nope, you're all airborne, so... Kind of have to conduct, conduct the strike relatively quickly as I really don't want aircraft to start running out of fuel since we do not have any support assets. And our fuel time is only about three hours. So let's go ahead and start moving uh, aircraft in. First things first, let's go and get the... Alright, so we'll go and send... We'll manually control him. Offensive ECM is on. Actually, the other thing is, is what I should do here. Turn on my radars for my SAM sites. I would frankly rather have my SAM sites emitting than I would having my fighters there we go. Much better. Doubt any of those have radars that are that long range, but you never know. All right, so now my ground radars are now operating. We're going to catch some fighters. Let's go ahead and deploy my own fighters in. Let's go and get my... You guys can go... Go and send my strike aircraft into kind of a holding. Southern flights are inbound.
Um, I can turn the game sound down. Let me go ahead and do that. Um, All right, there we go. Game sound should now be turned down a little bit. All right, so we should now be jamming. In fact, I'm just going to go and mark all of these guys as hostile, because in fact, we know they're all hostile. How's my southern groups coming up? They're moving. Although this southern group's not going to have a whole lot of time on their uh, left when they get into the strike zone. Alright, so first things first, we're going to have to start kind of clearing out the... clearing things out here. Mark all those as hostile. I think there's one in there. Where's my other flight of? All right, so there's my two flights. 113 and 102 are my two attack flights. So they're firing off missiles. Oh no, that's my. Uh... Oh, I selected the wrong flight. That would be my. Uh... That would be my F4s firing off their uh, sparrows. Well, we'll let my uh, F4s go defensive then. Unassign you though. Unassign. Target him. Oh, uh, guys. Are you guys gonna fire? <laughs> you guys just let him fly right by you! <laughs> Radar's on, maybe? Uh-oh. Things are already going badly. <laughs> What I should have done... Oh, I've already screwed up. Alright, well, we're, we need to get my attack aircraft in. Because I screwed up by... not just launching my air-to-air -air aircraft first. Strike aircraft are going to get killed here. I still think that's a little too loud. Yeah, this is a. Uh, this is going to be really short. Crap. All right. Yeah, my uh. Hey guys. You guys mind engaging? No, don't RTB. You guys engage. All right. Well, I was screwed up. I screwed up pretty bad here.
Oh, crap. All right. So you're already falling back. Yeah, he's already, I think, heading back. This group's just coming in. Not gonna matter since all my street aircraft are now dead. <laughs> Hi, Daddy O. Alright, so that's hostile for you guys. Alright, what do we have here? I gotta separate my strike aircraft out. So you come over here. In fact, go ahead and just strike the primary targets. You're to come down low altitude. In fact, ignore my. Alright, so they're gonna start dropping down. Who else have we got? These guys are armed with general purpose. So we're going to have them drop down, attack our two primary targets. I was supposed to be launching a diversionary attack, but that's obviously gone out the window now. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, recover what we can here. And so while they are playing with my strike aircraft down here in the south, so you guys can go there and then we'll give them orders. In fact, I want to give you guys a couple orders. Go there, go there. When you guys get to this point, drop down 2,000 feet. STW-22, yes, this is uh, Shifting Sands. This is the uh, downtown in Damascus scenario. All right, do I have any other strike aircraft? All right, so there's my there's my F4s with Sparrow, so they're already engaging. Any other strike aircraft? You guys, might as well just RTB. You guys are still armed with strike. Go ahead, stop fighting. Oh, how are you guys marked as neutral? Uh, guys? What are you guys doing? I wonder if those are the uh, neutral... Oh, I wonder if we just, uh, I wonder if we just attack the Soviets. Oh. Oh. I wonder if the, uh... You guys get down low level, ignore my orders, and just go ahead and attack. Come into your attack run. Well, at least they're... You guys go and attack the presidential palace. Ignore. Engage defensive. Alright, one thing I do want to do. I want to go to your... Doctrine. And... I want to find... Quick turn around. Engage opportunity targets. I want to not have you engage defensive. Weapons release, it's not there. All right, well. I thought there was an option for it, but I guess there's not. Hey guys, just stop engaging defensive because you're never going to... Alright, 
kill that sand battery. Problem is that they're not going to engage offensive if they keep having to engage defensive, and I don't want them. I want them to just suicide into that into their target. Hi, hi, gamer. Welcome to uh, watching me uh, completely uh, bungle the uh, attack on Damascus. I could have swore there was an engage offensive or defensive rules of engagement, but... All right, well... They're probably just not going to do anything. They're probably just going to keep on flying around. All right, we did get a launch at our secondary target, though. Go, go! Hey, at least we hit, our, hit the secondary target. You get, you can now return home. All right, so we attacked the secondary target. Did any of our other strike forces survive? Oh, plenty of them did. Well, this group is probably going to get itself killed. This group is inbound. Let's just go ahead, this group return to base. So we still have a group. Our group with phantoms with sparrows and sidewinders still has four sidewinders left and 12, or it still has four sparrows and 12 sidewinders. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Raptor. It's apparently right in front of my face. Automatic evasion. No. Not quite sure how I missed that, but... So stop automatically evading and attack your targets. <laughs> um, this group is going to return to base. This group has 38 minutes of flying time left before it's bingo. So we're just going to send them right on in. This group here is good for another 42 minutes. So that group's going to be is RTB. Let's go ahead and bring in my jammer. My one surviving jammer by the looks of it. Oh no, we got a second one. Um I want to rearrange his mission area though. Bring his mission area more to the north. And he's landing. All right, so looks like one group of strike aircraft left. Oh no, this group actually had. Oh, this group's ready for strike. So they've got 42 minutes of flying time. Oh, so we have two groups that are ready to strike. So you go strike the presidential palace. Um, turn off automatic evasion. And then this group right here, turn off automatic evasion. And you will do a second run on the two primary targets. And there we go. And this group here, drop down low. So they're now engaged offensive. They should now be doing setting up further attack runs on their targets. All right, so it looks like we did hit the primary target. We're going to go and have that group return to base. So we did get one of our primaries. 
Second group is coming in now. We're just going to go have have them order target both, of, target both of those two. They're coming in. They're egressing. In fact, now I can turn off automatic conversion back on for them. And while they were all engaging there, bombs away on the secondary target. They should reline up for attacks on the main target now. Those missed. That's weird. How did they land way over there? <laughs> Wow, all of my bombs are missing tonight. Is this group? I think they're actually lazy for their laser guide. Alright, you can return home. Alright, we took out the presidential palace, so we'll go ahead and drop the last of our bombs on the primary target. And looks like we took out most of the... most of their actual air assets look like they're gone. Alright, you guys can now return home. And so we didn't quite get the primary target. We got one of them, and we got the secondary target. And so everybody now, go ahead and return to base. And then we, once everybody lands, we will see how we did. That was, uh, that was pretty intense there. I, uh, I kind of bungled it there though. Like I said, I really should have launched my anti-air forces first is what I should have done. Alright, and all right, invasion gone. If I would have launched my uh, my air-to-air -air units first, I probably could have dealt with most of their air force Especially since I, I forgot, you know, and I should have thought about the fact that I am fighting at least a little bit under my own SAM umbrella. So I should have set up like a SAM trap for him, but live and learn. Um, you know, Raptor, let's go ahead and look that up while we're uh, waiting for units to return to base. So... So we have the 1973 Syrian General Headquarters Raid um, in downtown Damascus. So they, without were playing the heavily defended regions of the Golan Heights, they attacked through Lebanon. Um, so aftermath, Syria reported 26 civilians were killed, 117 injured. Well, the Soviet reported 30 killed in its cultural center. Um, not that you can believe either of those two sources. Um, the raid on the Syria's G Syrian GHQ, as well as any other strategic target, nevertheless prompted Syria to withdraw air defense assets from the front in order to protect its high-value assets, thereby thinning frontline defenses. Both the Syrian GHQ Air Force headquarters were forced to relocate. Um, Israeli POWs returning after the war revealed that several airmen had been held in the bowels of the Air Force Command Center at the time of the strike, and that the Syrians later questioned them about how the IF had known to avoid hitting their headquarters. So it sounds like, at least on the strategic side, the raid actually did do its job, in that it did force 
Siri to recall its error assets. Um, they shouldn't have been at 20,000 feet. I thought I had ordered them lower, but maybe I missed a group. Yeah, I really, I, I, I mean, I can't say too, I mean, I guess I can say much because I am streaming it, but I do really like a lot of these scenarios that are included in this um, pack. Um, just my own personal opinion. Um, you know, that none of these, as far as I fa have found, are cakewalks. Um, in fact, I even lost the first scenario, which is a um, British patrol through the Red Sea during the um, Sinai crisis. Um, I had two groups patrolling, and I didn't investigate a, a couple merchant ships, and those two merchant ships turned out to be Egyptian destroyers which then took out my ships from longer range, and then they took out my support ship. The other thing I like about it is that a lot of these scenarios are pretty tough. Um, not, like I said, none of these are cakewalks. Um, one, just given the era that, you know, that, that they take place in, you don't have, you know, AMRAMs and, you know, F-22s and stealth. Um, in fact, I think it was the Yom Kippur War? I can't remember which one of the wars actually prompted the Air Force to, uh, or the U.S. Air Force, I should say, to develop the Have Blue and Stealth projects um, because of the losses the Israelis took against um, Soviet SAMs. All right, so units... Oh, you're just in the landing queue. Um, so units are returning now. See how badly we screwed that up. I wonder if I, uh, if some of the Soviet advisors that were mentioned in the uh, mission brief, I wonder if they were actually, instead of being, uh, I'm kind of wondering if they were on a neutral side and flying rather than just a couple of units flying for the Syrians. Yeah, Raptor, I'm not, I don't know a whole lot about the, uh, about the Israelis wars. I mean, I've read a couple about some of like the, uh, the Baca Valley, um, raid, um, and some on their raid on, e on Egyptian air defenses, but for the most part, I don't know a lot of the details. All right, so units have pretty much ret all returned home now. Let's go ahead and take a look and see how badly I did here. Losses and expenditures. So Syria lost one building palace, one tall building. They lost four MiG-21C 20, MiG or Fs, 21, sorry. Um, lost four fish bed Cs, three fish bed Js. Four fish bid Ds. Um, lost one SA-3 launcher. Three SA-7s. A flat face and a low low radar. Not too bad. Um, expenditures, we lost 12 Phantoms. Ouch. And we lost... Oh, I was right. The Nesher S actually is a Mirage 5 uh, modification. So I was right there. Um, we lost 12 Phantoms and 6 of our Nesher S's. Which I think that was... I think we had four to start with, so we probably pretty much lost uh, both these squadrons that we actually had. Um, we expended 28 Sparrow 3s, 2 Mavericks, 1 AIM-9 J Sidewinder, 24 500 pound bombs, 7 Shafir Air 2s, and 50 M117 750 pound bombs. Lebanon lost nothing. Soviet advisor, so we shot down one Soviet Foxbat A. And they expended two AA6s or acrid A's and two acrid B's. So we did actually end up attacking, whether we attacked the Soviets or um, 
or they were set to turn hostile. I don't know, but we did do damage. Um, and let's go to scoring. Was an average score, so not honestly too bad. Not bad. So with that, and we had a score of 35, so, you know, we, we, I think we did okay.